Ah, good evening and welcome to What I Fix Daily. This is going to be something a little bit different. This is more of a guide on how to do something. One thing that uh, I encounter quite frequently, and I'm sure plenty of you also do, and you all may have your own versions of doing this, is a person brings in an iPhone, it's completely mangled, and the best you can do is get the data off and nothing more. And of course the person then wants to be able to migrate their contacts and everything else into their other phone. Now often, well every time I can, I produce a iTunes backup system uh, copy and unfortunately a lot of people don't like to use that and I can sort of understand why. iTunes for is quite different in the Apple world in the sense that normally with Apple products it's just, it works. But in the past iTunes has have a bad reputation of, and deserved one it seems, of destroying the data on phones. So people plug it in, try to back it up and they end up a blank phone, things like that. Now whether well, that's because of users mistaking what they think they're doing with what they're actually doing, regardless. The point is that consumers generally don't trust iTunes for that sort of thing. And the iCloud for a lot of people just simply isn't an option. Uh, the ideal situation we have is before the phone is mangled, the person has um, backed up everything to iCloud, their contacts, things like that. But for a lot of people, it just simply doesn't happen. So what we've got um, for the situation where the phone is mangled, it can't really be used again, and the person wants to just be able to move their contacts across, and you don't want to have to get iTunes involved. So this is what we're going to do. So we've got a phone here that I've got simulated contacts on, it's about 466 or so, maybe 500. So there you can see that they're all pretty much gibberish. I don't know, it's having a hard time because I've got the plastic film on that. Anyway, so they're all on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to clone this with um, iDevice Backup and then we're going to decode it using um, iDevice Unback, which is software that I've written. And then we're going to show you how to make the contacts available so that they can very easily install it onto another phone or multiple phones for that matter. I didn't realize I could do it this easy until I stumbled across it today. And I've been looking around on the internet for a while on how to do this sort of thing. So now that I've found it, I thought it'd be good to share it with others. So first thing we're going to do is plug this phone in and um, we're going to assume it's smashed up. We're going to plug it in and do the backup. Okay, we have our phone plugged in. We should be able to now do the iBackup. Um, let's just get it here. iDevice Backup to my iPhone. Just expand that out a little bit. Okay, this is a test phone. I've basically got nothing on it except the contacts and a couple of other things. So that was to be expected, that it didn't take very long at all. So now we go into it. Uh, my, I, and we can see that we have the normal iTunes type backup. Now to decode this into human readable form, we use a program, the program I wrote, which is iDevice unback input is either and output is unback. There we go. And that will now have created a file. The address book should be located in unback media library. Oops, sorry. Library address book. And we can see here we've got this file address book like so with that, we now create our V cards, and we use another piece of software that I've written, and that's iOS to V card. Back library address book address book dot and we'll just call this my contacts V card or VCF. Okay. 
Now, if we look at my context VCF, you can see we've got all the information in there that we need. Now, this is where the fun bit comes in. Alright, now before I re import all the contacts, obviously what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to reset this phone so that there's nothing on it. Press erase for God's sake. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, while we're waiting for the phone to reset, I'll show you how it is that we make this, these contacts easy to access. If you're on most Linux machines, you'll have an inbuilt web server, and if you don't, you can put this up to whatever web server you like. But basically, you just go uh, copy my contacts to uh, um, and I'm just going to change it m.vcf because I'm lazy in typing. Alright, I'm a bit of a moron. I didn't remember that uh, when I hit that reset all I had to go through the whole setup again on this phone. So we're back to square one, which is fine. And uh, we'll just... I just remembered now I've got to set up my touch. So if we go into contacts no contacts no contacts alright so what you do is you go into Safari go like that yep. and then you go to the IP address of your local server and rename this file m.vcf so m dot vcf I'm just going to peel this off ok so you end up with that come on focus and now you can do it so that's what we're ending up with there we go and this is what comes up that's our VCF file, and we can now open it in contacts. Look at that. Add all 497 contacts. Go, yes, please. Here we go, create new contacts. And there we have it. They're all there. Okay, so, sorry that was a little more awkward than what I had planned. Unfortunately, I'm sort of getting used to this switching back and forth in Open Broadcaster. But you got the idea. I will probably create a web page specifically for this process so that it's a little easy to see. But it's a nice break for me because I get a lot of these situations where people either don't have a PC at home and they haven't done an iCloud backup. Um, I don't want to put it onto my iTunes system here because I get admit I fear about the uh, blitzing of the data as well, or just you know, other little side effects. And doing it through this web server method with the VCF contacts is a very easy way of doing it. It doesn't require anything other than just the Safari browser, and that means you can send the data for your customers, the recovered data, to them wherever they are no matter any time so that's it um, I will write up that web page and in the meantime have a good one I'll see you guys later